My name is Tahad Ramsi. I'm from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. And uh, I've come to Karbala for Arbaeen this year, 2014. Um, it is my third time coming to Karbala. And uh, I arrived uh, on the 3rd of December, spent three days in Najaf. And uh, it was the first time I had come for Arbaeen. So the crowd in Najaf was amazing. It amazed me. The people were all over the place. and. Uh, I was thinking that what would happen in Karbala. So I continued my journey and uh, three days later we started the walk. And uh, this was the first time I walked so it was an amazing experience and uh, I heard people talking about the walk all my life. And uh, I was surprised that uh, I was like what's in this walk and uh, why do everyone say that your life changes after the walk. But uh, I say that after doing the walk myself I would tell everyone to do the walk. And uh, in the walk, I learned a lot of things. And uh, one of the greatest things I think that I learned in the walk was the selflessness of the Iraqi people. And that if you give your whole year's earning in the name of Imam Hussein, then it's the true love from, of Imam Hussein that you have. I saw that people were giving perfumes, tissues, free Wi Fi. So I was uh, amazed that. Every single thing, when people say you get everything in the walk, they literally mean you get everything in the walk. And uh, I truly saw that and it has been an amazing experience. And uh, talking through a security perspective, uh, I never felt threatened at any time in the walk. I actually felt safer in the walk. And uh, I was like, there's millions of people walking. I heard there's Christians walking and everyone is walking. That there's no reason to actually be threatened or feel that or oh, something is going to happen. And uh, it's the love of Imam Hussein that actually dr drives you to reach Karbala. And on the third day, after walking around 40, 50 kilometers, you're actually very tired and don't want to go. But uh, that's the day you say that, oh, I'm going to meet my, my master Hussein. And uh, you go towards Imam Hussein. Uh, reaching in Karbala, it was an amazing experience. And uh, the first time we, we saw the Haram, I, without even saying anything, tears ca uh, flew from my eyes and uh, the first thing that I said that Allahumma ajil waliik al faraj that uh, oh, uh, oh Imam because from your uh, wasila the reappearance of the 12th Imam should be sped up in this kind of world where uh, nothing is safe and uh, the only safe place would be Karbala as I would say and on the day of Arbain was a uh, baffling experience as I saw that there was millions of people flocking and going to the shrine of Al Abbas and Imam Hussein and I myself everyone from our group uh, was uh, there was like you can't recite Ziyarat Al Arbaeen inside the Haram and I was like okay if, Ima if uh, Imam Hussein has called us it's truly that uh, from his call that we will recite the Ziyarah inside the Haram so I set off and uh, took the book and walked inside and I walked inside the haram and recited the ziyara inside the haram and I did not even get hit or feel insecure inside the haram and I recited my ziyara and alhamdulillah I managed to see the shrine and I was amazed and uh, I asked for the hajat on that day. Um, right after that I went and uh, I passed through Bainul Haramain. I saw millions of people. I met people from France, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan. Afghanistan, I saw the processions from all over the world and this was uh, an amazing experience as I met co converts from France, Australia and they gave their stories that how 
they reached the path of Hussein and uh, they changed their belief after seeing Hussein. And uh, it has been an amazing experience. I feel very secure in this city. And I would like to thank the Iraqi government, the Iraqi people, uh, the army especially, and the police uh, for making the foreigners or people from all over the world feel safe and feel enjoyable in the ziyara and make the ziyara feel homely to everyone. Uh, to end, I would say that uh, a statement in Swahili, our local language in Tanzania, and that would be Imam Hussein ni mola wa kila mtu na wa kila ina wa kila nchi, meaning that Imam Hussein is the master and leader for every person, every state, and every country, and that uh, the love of Imam Hussein is uh, everywhere. Uh, thank you. I would like to end by thanking Imam Hussein TV for this wonderful opportunity. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Ali Hassan Qasim and I'm a law student at the University of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. I reside in a place where our community hosts about 10,000 people. And uh, this time, about 750 to 1,000 people have come to do the ziyad of Arba'in and to pay their respects to Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas and Imam Hussein. When I was sitting a few months ago, I was wondering whether I should come for this pilgrimage or not. And uh, a few people convinced me to come, but then I did not get the real gist of why I should be here. And once when I sat and I thought about it and I felt that I have to pledge my allegiance to Abba Abdullah. And the best way to do it is to come in the time of Arba'in, whereby 17.5 to 20 million people have come from all over the globe for nothing but the reason of Abba Abdullah Hussein. And Alhamdulillah, I made my niyat and with the wasila of Imam Hussein and from the help of the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I managed to come for the ziyarat. When we reached Najaf, I made this niyat to do the walk. The walk which everyone talks about. The walk of a lifetime. The walk that changes every single thing in your life. And I never believed that it would be a life-changing experience. But when I started this three-day walk, I understood the love people had for Abba Abdullah Hussein. A child sitting in the middle of the streets, serving water, another person serving dates so that you can continue your walk. A person coming to you to massage your feet so that you can go to Abba Abdullah. A fourth person coming and giving you food so that you can accept his food as a zayir of Abba Abdullah and give him blessings. A person who has saved his life, who has saved his earnings for the whole year just to serve the zayir of Abba Abdullah. You should understand that there is a different feeling to, the, to being a pilgrimage and coming to the plains of Karbala. Not any person can become a zawar of, of Abba Abdullah. It is only when you are called by Abba Abdullah himself and that you come here and you pay your respect is when you understand the sacrifice Abba Abdullah has given, not only for Islam. Remember, Imam Hussein is not a person only for the Muslims. He is a person for humanity. He is a person who gave his life, who gave his family, who gave everything just for the sake of his Lord and for the sake of humanity. When I did this work, I understood that I am not an ordinary, I am not only the lover of Abba Abdullah. And when I came all the way from Dar es Salaam, I thought maybe I am a person who is very lucky and who knows the love of Abba Abdullah. But when I stepped my foot onto the, onto the roads from Najaf to Karbala, I understood that what I have done for Abba Abdullah is nothing. Remember, this walk is not an ordinary walk. Any person cannot do it unless you have the love of Abba Abdullah that you are going to complete this work. And when we reached Karbala, and when I set my sights onto the dome of Abba Abdullah Hussein and Abba Al-Fadl, words cannot describe the feeling I felt. I do not know should I smile because I have reached my mission and my dream of reaching Abba Abdullah, or should I cry because what Abba Abdullah has given everything for, for, for the sake of Islam and for humanity, and that, that he sacrificed his whole family is what I should cry for. However, I think I smiled and I cried because it was tears of joy and tears of grief because Abdil, what Abba Abdullah did is, is what has made me a Muslim today. And when I keep on going to the dome of Abba Abdullah every single day, I try to renew my allegiance to Abba Abdullah. And when the day of Arba'in came, this whole place was surrounded by grief. And everyone told me not to go because there were security problems. My heart goes out to the Iraqi security forces who have done everything to do for these awards. I have not heard about any single explosive or any bomb. 
because these people have worked day and night just to ensure the security of the Zawaz of Abdullah. And this is only possible with the help and the support of the Abu of Abu Fadl Abbas and Abu Abdullah Hussein. When I entered the dome of Abu Fadl Abbas on the day of Arbain, I do not know how to describe it. Millions and millions of people going and paying their respects and crying. And crying for only one reason, because this man gave everything for the sake of Islam. His loyalty, his sacrifice, his bravery is remembered till today. I recited my Ziyat al-Bain without any problems and Alhamdulillah I'm here till today just because the Iraqi security forces. I would not want to leave the plains of Karbala but once when everyone has to go home one day. And uh, I must say one thing, every single person needs to come to Karbala, needs to do this work to renew, to renew their allegiance to Imam Hussein, to pray for the Mahdi, to the, for the appearance of the Mahdi and third, to understand what happened in the plains of Karbala, you need to be in Karbala. My last thing would be to thank the Iraqi team, to thank the Iraqi government, and most of all, to thank Abu Abdullah and Abu and Abu Fadl Abbas for giving me this chance to come here. And I pray that everyone gets a chance to come here, not only really once, but their entire lifetime, year and year again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rubab Hassan Ali. Um, I'm from Allentown, Pennsylvania. I'm 15 years old. This is my first time to a third world country, first time to Iraq. And um, we we're just inspired to come by everyone. Everyone always talks about it. All my friends, some of them went last year. And they just inspired me so much saying, the walk is amazing, the people that you meet, it just changes you as a person. And we decided so last minute, but we decided, you know what, Bismillah, you know, let's go. And I'm so glad that we did. We started off in Najaf, and I remember the first time I walked into Imam Ali's harem. It's just an unforgettable feeling. The peace, the calm, the serenity, it's a feeling that never leaves you truly. And always, you always want to go back for more. So we did the walk from Najaf to Karbala, and that was just an amazing experience. I remember at times I was just going to take the bus. I was ready to give up, but I don't know. You just find the strength that keeps you moving, and you see all the old and young, old and young people wanting to serve you, and it just breaks your heart, and you just get so excited at the same time, and you get a rush of emotions that just makes you want to continue and all the people who are walking around you are so supportive and say, you know, you can make it and you just do. I don't know, I, when I first reached Garbala, I was just like, mashallah, you know, I'm here, I made it. And it's an unforgettable feeling. And I remember when I um, first saw the dome, you know, I just forgot all the pain and everything and you just think of all how much pain that they went through and compared to our pain it really isn't anything and the people that you meet all the from like little toddlers to people who are still in wheelchairs they're all trying to serve you want to give you everything that they have and you realize how lucky you are to be a zawar and to be here and it just I don't know, it has, everybody I feel should come here and experience this for themselves because everybody has their own journey, everybody has their own experiences, good or bad, they all make up your trip. And there's no feeling like it that you were called, you know, your Imam called you to come and visit. And it's just, you're just like, wow, out of all these millions of people, when I came here, I definitely asked Imam Hussein, like, for patience. You know, your patience is definitely put to the test. And to be more kind and giving, like, all the people you see in Iraq who are just willing to give, like, their last meal, everything that they have. And you just want to be more like them, be more kind, caring. My final message is for if you can come, please come and just strive. Try to come. It will happen really it will and even if you think that along your way you can't make it or your experience is not the best it all makes up for a bigger picture and in the end you're going to be so happy and so excited that you came and you'll definitely want to come next year so i 
beseech y the young youth to please come, try to make it, you know? You never know what's going to happen.